Welcome to Romancing Grenada Caracol and Pitimatic. I am here with Mr. David Robinson, also known as Salami. Is it okay for me to say that? Sure. Okay. Have a good evening. Good night. We're doing this at good night. Good evening to you, yeah. Right. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I said nice to start it all over again, <laughs> as you <we> said. <laughs> Oh, people didn't know we did this before. Oh. <laughs> you, you... <laughs> well, that is how life goes sometimes. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just joking because I was going to say we already did this last week. And my apologies to you and your technician, your, your daughter, your granddaughter. <laughs> My granddaughter. I lost the recording. It's somewhere in this old computer. Where I can't find it. So we're going to start all over. So you are Mr. David Robinson, and you were a teacher. It's yes. Not, you were um, a meteorologist. Meteorologist. Meteorology. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> no, that's okay. A lot of people have difficulty pronouncing the word sometimes. I am a geographer. That's why student. most people they would prefer to say the simple word, the weatherman. The weatherman. Okay. So you right. are the weatherman. That's it. My my shame is that I am a geographer, so I, I should know that. It's just I got excited. Just talking yeah. to you is, is a, a treat. <laughs> 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 and um, you're an avid farmer. And sure. yes, and you did you're a hiker. Of course. And so, but what my memory and anything I would have heard or known about you were, I used to see you with a bag pack on your back and stuff, but I think you already had lots. So what I remember you for is, and what I remember hearing in Let Dig, and today we might bust the first myth, is that you were the first raster man we knew. And we heard the terminology, but you were the first person we knew to practice being a raster man. And from what we were told, uh, what we thought we knew, it's that you recluse from the regular people and you went to the hills and you took a few guys with you and, and <laughs> you, you sort of created a raster man community in the hills and so on. But you have a somewhat different story. And I know a little bit because we talked last week, but I'd like you to say it again. So tell me a little bit about you from teaching to being a raster and you just showed me your locks, which is probably down past your, your knees. <laughs> well, yes, in SAS, while I was teaching, mm -hmm. um, I had some difficulty because I, had, um, I was faced with having to teach five double periods in the, the last two periods of the day mm. during the week. Yes. So, um, well, I brought it to the attention of the vice principal and the principal. I had a meeting with them. Yeah. And I asked them, I said, no, it's taking a toll on me. Plus, I normally would do some physical training with the children, and so, mm -hmm. so that that was just having, you know, he was having an extra strain on me. So I asked mm -hmm. them to do some adjustment, and they said to me, "No, that that's how it is. I have to accept it, and that's how it is." Wow. So I went on. Yeah, I went, it went on for a while, and after a while, I decided to go to the, a medical doctor in the community named Dr. Gindi from India. Mm -hmm. And I explained my position to him and he said, no, no, no. So I asked him if he could give me a letter to take to them, advising them that they should rectify the situation. Mm -hmm. And they still didn't. So I was planning my next move, which was to pull the plug on them. <laughs> so I I contemplated, contemplated, and I want I started when I go to the different class writing on, on the on the blackboard. Soon the world will run dry and some students will cry. <laughs> and you know, people they didn't I don't know if they, you know, I don't think they was catching you the know. Hit. Yes. Yeah, they weren't catching it. <laughs> and then I had a good friend who was having some problems at his home with his um, mother and father, mm -hmm. or I think his father, I don't know if his mother was living there at the time. And um, there's Saul Alexander. Saul Alexander. Uh -huh. Right, so we plan, we would get up some things, stuff, and go 
to the hills. That's our mountain line in right. the river next to the dam. We had a, a pretty good dwelling place there, built from <laughs> mommy apple board, which is a very strong board. We had a big, big mommy apple tree in the garden of there, and my father got the people in the area, mm -hmm. Mr. Lowe and Mr. Martin, and them who used to saw boards in those days. Okay. And built a very strong dwelling place there. We even had a fire side of baby come up. Father used to go up with all of us and we used to spend the whole day and cook and sew. Right. You know? So we had a place yes. to live. So we pack everything. We even hold a coal pot and some coal. But up there, you'll get a lot of dry wood and you'll have, you know. Right. But just in case. Yeah. And it was just in April month. So dry season time anyway. <laughs> so it was a, a very good time. So right. we decided to just move out of the society <laughs> for that month. Right. And during that time, we would lock up as well. Right. And prior to that, prior to that, I was in the Black Power movement and the consciousness and all this thing was there. Yes. I, I spoke to people who went to Jamaica and talk about, you know, your ass up there and locks and, you know, yeah. the maroons, runaway slaves and all these things. So the setting was there. Yeah. And we had rivers, you know, we could go to and yeah. We, we, you, you grid the um, young cocoa and you make a nice kind of um, slimy shampoo like. A gel, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a gel. Put it and you go and you under the waterfall, it will naturally lock. Right. Quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we are planning that we will, while we are up there, you know, we will do a little training and stuff to come out on, on May Day. At the end of the month, the first of May, you still have the May Day Marathon. Mm -hmm. And that's when we came back to society and um, we ran. Saul placed third. I yeah. remember why we won it. And um, I must have placed seventh or a little way down. All right. Yeah. I may have remembered that race. <laughs> well, any race, by the way, placed first. And I think we were there. <laughs> yeah, well, while after, I was right, there was Shaman. So. Sorry? I say after that, there were a few long distance road race that I placed first, second, third, like the the um Grenadian marathon. Uh-huh. Yeah. I won it, I won it in um I think it was 1978. Oh I placed third on a couple of occasions. Eh? I placed seven. No 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 the 26 miles from okay. St. George's. The full marathon. Yeah. It used to be a nice race, and it's very difficult in Grenada because you have long hills to climb. Yeah. It's not like in the US and well, England flat. and Japan, yeah. they're just 26 miles flat, steady so, running, steady pace. The race started in Sotez? Yeah. So, yeah, you have you up and down, up and down hills the whole yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, to me, I, I did half marathon on the Eastern Main Road and Mount Silly. <laughs> Oh yes, um, half the half marathon on the eastern side is kind of a bit easy. Yeah, pretty oh, easy. Is it on the western side? Yes, it used to be on the western side. Oh! Yeah, I got hill. After yeah. two thirds, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Long mar uh, mar got hill to climb. Oh, I don't know the western so, side too well. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. The strong oh. athletes normally would end pretty good well yeah i know the western side is very stronger rough. at least mentally and physically to it yes you have to be you know mentally yeah. strong of course well. of course so I, I, you still run and i have a little clip uh, of you yeah, i can show it um, not as much as before but i still do some on hope beach and some now do some in progress park you know sometimes oh, I take a little how run. old are you now how old are you now well, I'm 68. I'll be 69 later on this year. Okay. I'm looking forward to next year, God's willing. I always say I'm looking forward to next year because three score and 10 is a defined mark. Yes, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> um, Thank you very gonna, much. I'm going to share the screen a bit just so I can show your, your clip. I wouldn't show the whole thing because it's a little bit long and we might be pressed for time because I have a lot of questions yeah. for you. So okay. just give me a second so I can share the screen. Share. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. this is you. This is you training. Right, right. Progress path. Right. I, I was showing my grandson uh -huh. the way to do it because he came with me and when he did half lap, he, he just born and he was panting and blowing hard. So I tell him, I say, look, watch I do one lap and that's <laughs> my what? grandson Davon. He's fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, in South. Javon? Yeah, Javon. Javon. J -A -A. Javon. Jav oh, well, his name for success, Javelin, Javon, you know. Yeah. But, but no, me. no, after he saw me do that, he, he kind of inspired a little bit and he started about us keeping rope for him. So he started, you know, yes. doing some physical training. So he dropped some of the weight a little bit and he's looking better now. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you. As it should be inspiring for me, but it made me so tired just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, that was the, I, sun, the Sunday, the Sunday before them, the general election. Okay. Oh, just the other day, indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I used to run. Uh, I ran for Ledig and all that, but at this age, I would not try to do a lap around Progress Park. <laughs> Well, that, very that, impressive. Yeah, it's, very... It's, it's not that long. I mean, progress back is big, yes, but big. you know, yes, it's about eight hundred. Uh... No, it's less than eight hundred. The inside is about four hundred, but if you're going right on the outside, uh -huh. you know, it's more. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we did the whole thing here <laughs> while we were talking. Yeah. Congratulations. That's impressive for any. Uh, thank I you. mean, thank you very much. And given your age, man, you look like you're in your forties or thirties. Even <laughs> idea while away now to come and win the race against you. No, while away is having a little problem with um, his legs. Oh, okay. you do, do a lot of farming still, eh? Yes, quite a bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we're not sharing anymore. So my um thing is on the cultural side so i'm glad right. i have you on the cultural side but you told me before that you after teaching you went to ministry of health or before teaching you went ministry of health yeah i was in ministry of health before teaching right as you a did. public health officer i did some training with an organization called project hope that was a, a um boat on the sea that used to move from countries to countries uh -huh. conducting conducting a uh, public health course in different countries so they, they stationed here for a while and i did a course with them public mm -hmm. health yeah. and um, during the um gary era yeah the, um, the minister of health at the time was david sylvester from Ladi. yes and um with black wizard was my supervisor immediate supervisor many people wouldn't know that black wizard was in the ministry of health yeah, well, Black Wizard is one of the, um, well, I would say, well-trained um, public health officers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He went yeah. to South Jamaica, I remember that, right? Right. He yes. did his training a, a longer period than what I did, and he did his in Jamaica. Yes. Yeah. I remember that. I was, I'm looking, um, sometimes when you see me looking down, I'm writing notes, but mm -hmm. right now I'm looking for, because I have a voice. Um, you told me when I called you, you were about to plant seeds. You told me you were trying to plant, I think about 300 uh, seeds, uh, how you call them, holes of peas. Right. 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 And so I was telling a friend about this and the friend sent me a note saying, how you're so generous that you 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 whatever you plant you you come to St George's. But first, let's talk about you as a meteorologist because <laughs> that's where this person knew you from. So, yeah. so you you tell me a little bit about that job. Like, how did you go from public health into meteorology? Well, meteorology. I went um, I went to from the teaching. Yeah. I went to, um, well, I joined the army at one point in time. Which army? The Revolutionary Army. Oh, this I didn't know that either. Army. Right. In the but you were time. a Rasta man already? Yeah. Okay, right. So um, while I was in the army, my main function was as a machine gunner, anti-aircraft machine gunner. Okay. Right. So I, I excelled in that 
feel with the machine gun eh? better mm -hmm. than even with the AK rifle. So there was a time when um some little falling out went into our barracks and I, I you know I left. Oh gifted for a while. Mm -hmm. And um I went to the ministry civil aviation in, in um, no ministry of communication and works with Austin Austin. I was a assistant accountant downstairs there. Austin Austin is general. You're and a multifaceted I, person. Health ma oh you taught Martin Sass. We didn't even talk yeah, about Martin that. General Science, yeah. Yes. And right. now you're in accounting. Right. So right. well, yes, as well the maths, once you have maths as an assistant accountant, you're fitting in nicely. The numbers, yeah. Right. And, right. and right. you're learning on the way. Yeah. I, I was fortunate to have a very renowned Indian economist, accountant, head in the department there. Mm -hmm. uh, one called BK Ray. BK Ray. That man, that man, that man used to treat me like his son. So, you know, I was fortunate and I yes. learned quite a bit inside and I had quite a few nice people working inside there too, you know. And there was a guy who went to primary school with me, Bonnie Charles, Prax from Hope. He was mm -hmm. working there as well. And Agatha Alexis from, um, she in that um, drama group with Uriah Peters and them, a very good oh. actor. Oh, okay. so the I guy had, from Subis or somewhere that. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had really nice people. Even in the Ministry of Health, we had quite a few nice people besides Wizard, you know, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Even the Minister of Health he used to give me a ride home sometime. I used to be driven by a police. And, Myself and, and the minister in the back from St. George's, right up to Ladig. And um, as far as I know, and we had a little discussion last time, your father didn't vote for the man. <laughs> no, my father, actually my father, my father used to campaign for Mr. Arambola, who was running for the Grenada again. National Party against David Sylvester, right. who was running for the Grenada United Labour Party, but they were still very good friends, very, very good friends, you know? I know, it's such a beautiful thing that politics didn't have, didn't divide right. people like that before. Very, very good friends. They were very, very good friends. And I like the fact that he was looking out still for the, the young people in the community. Oh, so yeah, was... let, now I talk about your father because we did this last week. So we kind of, I kind of lost my order. Your yeah. father was teacher Norris Robinson, right. who used, was the principal of um, St. Giles. St. Giles Anglican down in Mount Camel side down that side. Yes. Right. Uh, you come from a, a scholastic family, a very academic <laughs> family. Yes. Yeah, my right father, on. yes, my father actually started to teach. He taught his first class. They give him a little bligh, I would say. A teacher they didn't come to school and they asked him to keep the class at the age of 14. Uh -huh. And so when they saw how he did, when he was 16, they gave what? him, you know, yeah. Right. So he started yeah. actually teaching his first class at the age of 16. Right. Wow. <laughs> And you, so your brother was uh, Dr. Benston Robinson. Right. He was a teacher too for a while in Holy yes, Innocent. Yes, I think he taught Standard 3 in Holy Innocent. Right. Um, your brothers were in the army. Um, amigos. Sandino, Sandino. Kenny. Yes, Kenny. And then your oldest brother was a prosecutor for uh, Magistrate Court in right. Grenville, Mr. Right. Henry Christopher, Henry he was Christopher. a policeman. Right, right. And your youngest brother, Errol. I mean, Avon. I don't right. know very much about him because he's much, much younger than me. But about you, I used to see you walking with a very curious look, like you always investigating the environment. So I never <laughs> knew I, I never knew you were a friendly person. I never knew you you'd like talking. I always you always, you know. Maybe you always want to be a weatherman. <laughs> Observing. Well, you have to be to be a good forecaster, you have to be a good observer. Eh? Right. You have to observe good. So when I'm telling my friend about you and he said, Oh no, that's the nicest man you'll ever meet. He his guy, <laughs> he lives Granville and drive down to Point Selene and just distribute food to everybody, like the biggest and the best of whatever he, he produces. Um, I was looking for it, but this my friend, I had it set up, but I, I people text me, so it kind of disappeared. Um he said, 
and you're an avid, avid hiker. And right. the next I love hiking. Coming to Grenada Actually, for a I was hike. a scout, you know, I was, I was a scout in um, secondary school, a sea scout. A sea scout? Yeah, What's in GPS. Sea for what? No, the sea, like, you know, you have land scouts and you have sea scouts. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we did it. I did quite a bit of racing on yachts and things. In those days, every Thursday, they used to have yacht racing in outside Granans, mm -hmm. from Granans to Point and so on. So oh. I, I did some of that. Okay. I, well, I learned something. I mean, I'm learning a lot here, but this is something extra, extra. I never knew <laughs> there were land scouts and sea scouts. Yeah. And I'm glad you were in the sea scout because I would have never known about it. <laughs> my brother, my first brother, Henry, was a land scout. He was top in the scout movement in Grenada. Mm -hmm. he, went, he went in America and so on in Wall Jamboree. I went in the Caribbean Jamboree in Barbados as oh. a youth. Yeah, there's so much we didn't know about you, but I mean, <laughs> my admiration of you was for breaking the cultural norm, and it was such a like a romantic thing for us about the men up in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we we had visitors from Ladi community. Yes, mainly mainly guys, eh? But we yes. had two 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 ladies visited. Uh huh. From the community. Just, but, we had three time hours up there. Well, for us, it was nice to talk about the men that went to the hill because I remember in, in um Cab, and maybe they all went up there to train with you because they were yeah. all mar they all ran marathons. Cab and yeah. them load up Cab, the donkey. Cab and um, Sparty and um, yes. well, a few guys were. I think. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Roland, Roland called it. Body, yeah, called it. Body, Roland. Body right here, yeah. Body, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And what they was, what they said when they were living the village is that they're going up to higher region to meet you. So we just assume you had this big city in the higher region, and we didn't yeah. know what just in Dry River you were. <laughs> yeah, just in Dry River, not far. And on my father's, my father's property. Right. <laughs> But we used to comb, comb, comb the hills, the rivers, and so on. Yes. And you right. had two rivers up there, or three. Right. Yeah, you we had the one that... Actually, we used to go... We used to go to the one where... Not Power Pass River, why? But mm -hmm. nearly on that side. And um, the Walker River. And the next river, St. James, going to Baldazar Way. Yes. So, the, and that one, they both come from Capitol. So we call that mountain yeah. originally is Capitol oh, Mountain, yeah. right? Because based on my studies from Pleasance to Lower Capitol, Balthazar area was called, was Capitol Estate. And then they divided up. So right. we have land up there too. We call it Capitol Mountain, right? Below the Ogilvy's and, right. But <laughs> this, this is amazing. And you you've done so much dynamic thing i mean like you you lead the way because now Laddie got a lot of really serious raster men and the consciousness of you know living off the land living holistically and you're very spiritually connected because we had this discussion uh you look after your family you look after friends you you you're a trendsetter and uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah, i find yeah, now you're even poetic <laughs> <laughs> um, I always um, remember the uh, uh, line, a verse in Bob Marley song, help mm -hmm. the weak if you are strong, even if you're not that strong, if you're relatively strong, you're right. in your position to help, you still help. Yes, yes. You know, be yeah. charitable. Yes. Yeah, it's nice to give. Mm -hmm. you know, I feel good if I could give three, four people something for the day. Yeah. Different people. Like today was a day for me for giving. And I felt really good about it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I like that. Well, I mean, I've, I've been hearing a lot of good things about you. And those were things I didn't know until I started to talk about you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you see, for from me being young, you went away. Like, that was around 78 or 79 you became a wrestler. Yeah. Was yeah. it 78? Right. 
Right. And then um, you went to work in St. George. So I didn't know about you. And if you're running and coming first marathon, I definitely wouldn't see you because I ran the women half marathon and we're coming in. Long. <laughs> right. That's true. That's true. We, we have no clue who was, <laughs> was it. We're ahead of the races. <laughs> uh, and I listen and for my runs I ran the eastern main road and it's the eastern side is relatively flat and right. I remember once I laid down in the road and a man had to pick me up because I, to me as I was sitting on City Hill <laughs> <laughs> so I could imagine the western side yeah the western side is much tougher the terrain is, is, is hilly <laughs> it's mountainous the uh, larger mountains are towards the west. <laughs> I think to um, my training in those days wasn't as heavy as some other guys, you know, but the diet, using a lot of greens. Mm -hmm. I had to grow lettuce and stuff, with cabbage and lettuce right. and carrots and things. Yeah. So when you're using a lot of greens, I, I, I noticed greens is just, you know, you have more stamina and everything. Mm hmm Yes, your body yeah. is more, yes. Yeah. And uh, we have five minutes left um, in the time, but I want to say to you in SAS, you also used to help uh, the young guys and you, you managed to get students interested in learning. And that's where the oppression came upon you. You raised your head and they, <laughs> they tried to hammer yeah. you. Down. Well, let me tell you, teaching it. Yeah. In, when I went to SAS, there was some the so-called delinquent students. Right. So to get delinquent students back into like ordinary students, mm -hmm. as a teacher, mm -hmm. I chose to befriend them. Right. The, the principal and, and the vice principal never like that too much. They find I'm moving too close to them. Right. Both, both male and female students. Mm -hmm. Because I remember there was a young lady, her parents, wealthy parents. Yeah. So she never used to even do any maths at all. She don't take part in, in the class and she don't do exams. <laughs> and the principal and them, they don't. They were okay with that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so when I got there and I said, no, I have to make friends with her and, you know, yeah. By and by, I get her. Eventually, I got her to start doing the maths. Mm -hmm. And I remember her first exam, she got 35%. And she was kind of, you know, saddish in a way because she didn't make the 50% the past math. Right. And I said to her, you make the greatest stride because you were getting zero all the time because you're never doing the exam. And mm -hmm. now you get 35. So you increase 35%. Right. But the bright children who was getting 80 and 85, they're still getting 80 and 85, and some might get 90. So they, they improve just by 5%. So I, I, I'm okay with that. Wow. And yeah, would you believe lo many years after that she went to America, one day I got a, a, a bag with quite a few items, gift items, you know. Uh -huh. Come for, for putting on my head, they, they brass the hat and socks and shoes and shorts for running and, you know. Quite well, a few things. I was surprised. You're very objective and you have a, an, I like the way you look at things. You turn things around to tell her that she didn't prove by 35%. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's so I encouraging. Got it's because positive. Maths, the students had a psychological barrier. Model, yeah, yeah. Weakness towards maths. Mm -hmm. From the time they have maths, they think. So you have to get them into it, you know, and, you know, Mm -hmm. And put a little humor sometime and let them know maths is a living subject everyday life. Show them where in everyday life you use maths. Yes, yes. And yes, quite a few students have got them into it, you know. Yeah. So a time uh, is one minute and um, I really want to thank you. I didn't get to say, I mean, to discuss with you, but I'll say it because we, you went to school in St. Giles um, and the kid, yeah. uh, and you, your high school education started at PBC, you said? 
No, GBSS. GBSS. Grenada Boys oh, Secondary School. Sorry. Grenada yeah. Boys Secondary School. And that's where your Black Power. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. And in our era, mm -hmm. our time, just prior to our, um, there was this kind of rivalry between GBSS and PBC. <laughs> and we actually, we actually mashed down that barrier because Ooh. we had good friends. Yes. PBC, and we started uniting. And so, so from that time, you know, well, the Black Power era too, eh? Yes, we love. the consciousness, yeah, yeah. Love, love, so love, we yes. Had, we, had, we had quite a few good friends in PBC. Uh, and, and, all, and the majority of our good friends in PBC were athletes. So uh, sports and... Uh, yeah, the, yeah sports the, 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 and Black Power consciousness and, and yes. things break down the barrier. Amen. That is a good thing. So yeah. time has expired. And I want to thank you a million. Um, you are one of uh, Ladigeria icons. You, you, you always were and you will be. And you're from a very prominent family in the community. Well, and thank you for, for sharing with us. And thank you for you're being you. Thank you for thank you for the vegetables you bring to those guys in the office in town, even if you've retired. <laughs> <a while. laughs> well. That's all nature from parents. Yes. Normally, 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 nice parents will have nice children. You may yes. have one or two exceptions, but in our case, there was no exception. Everybody, parents and children, nice. All nice. All nice. Would... <laughs> and I must, before I go, mention your sisters um, because I didn't mention them. So you, right. yes, Jean, Jeanette. Shirley, Shirley's after me, Shirley. and then Kiki and the twins. Yes. Oh, Gina, okay. Gina, Gina. Mm. Gina, Gina, Gina. Um, I remember during Revolution time. Oh my God, the time's gonna expire. During Revolution time, they used to teach us for free in the CPE. Right, right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, true. Mr. Robinson, thank you very much, and I hope the people out there like it and reconnect with you and like this you as a cultural icon. And um, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch up again. Hopefully, I could do another show with you coming up soon. Well, whenever the time is right. Okay. Up, I guess. All right then. Thank you. Don't and Mary Bats to you. You have a great weekend. You as have well. A great weekend. Thank right. Yeah. Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Blessings. Good. <laughs>